VV Earth Science, Video Resources for Earth Science Teachers. Hi everyone, welcome to our talk. This deck talk is given by three of us from UT Dallas. Hello all, my name is Dr. Mary Urquhart. I'm an associate professor and head of the Department of Science and Mathematics Education. Hi, I'm Ning Wang, a geoscience PhD student. Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Stern, professor of geosciences. In Texas public schools, earth science is primarily taught in the sixth and eighth grades, and it can be a challenging topic to teach. Many earth science topics are complex and abstract. Students have to understand geological processes in complex systems that are often deeply hidden in the earth and with immense scales of time and distance. Many of these topics are not obviously related to their daily life or future careers. In order to address these challenges, we at UTD are creating earth science animations and videos for different audiences. We focus on videos and animations because they help viewers visualize dynamic, abstract, and complex topics. Our aim is to improve viewers' engagement and understanding of earth science topics and some of these videos can be useful in the classroom. Videos are not the lesson, but can be easily embedded into lessons. Videos are so popular now that earth science educators at all levels are increasingly using videos to help their students understand earth processes. However, challenges of finding useful earth science videos still exist. One big challenge is to find trustworthy content. Many online videos are not scientifically accurate or can even be misleading. Another challenge is evaluating the effectiveness of an earth science educational video. Many videos are not assessed and teachers may not be sure about their effectiveness in teaching the topic. Last but not least, searching for useful videos can be time consuming. Teachers on average can spend seven hours per week in searching videos and some make their own. We're working with a fabulous group of middle school teachers who are advising us on the creation of a set of engaging teak-spaced videos on plate tectonics. In this talk, our main goal is to introduce a series of teak-aligned earth science videos about plate tectonics designed for middle school students. We will also share other resources so we have created or are creating, including GeoNews and a new video library built with Google Earth that invites middle school students to explore Earth's geography and geology called Gagvel Star. Finally, we will talk about how you can help us to further develop the middle school geoscience video initiatives and get early access to our field test materials. We're excited to introduce the earth science videos we're making for use in middle schools. We've looked carefully at the teaks and star results with our UTD Geoscience Middle School Advisory Board, and we started a project called Plate Tectonics Videos from Middle School. The Middle School Geoscience Advisory Board guiding our video production includes five experienced Texas middle school science teachers. Based on star results, 8.9b or plate tectonics is the most questioned section in the earth science domain and plate tectonics is a complex topic to teach. The project started in June 2020 and we finished the first two videos, plate tectonics intro and the plate. Now we're creating the third video Convergent Plate Boundaries. We plan to finish the whole series of five to six short videos by the end of 2020. The first video, Plate Tectonics Intro, is about four minutes long. It discusses how unique Earth style of plate tectonics is and presents an overview of plate tectonics theory. Let's watch it. Our home, the Earth, is unique. Look at photos of other rocky planets and larger moons in our solar system. They look very different than Earth in so many ways. 
Compared to Earth, they are more like big round rocks without oceans and vegetation. They look so solid and uniform, you may think they're not as dynamic as Earth. But, in fact, they're dynamic as well. Their mantles are hot enough to allow the mantle to convect. We know that mantle convection exists in some other planets, like Venus and Mars, because we can see their surfaces are deformed and have volcanoes. Therefore, scientists say these are actively convecting bodies with tectonic activity, just like Earth. So why would these planets look so different from Earth? One big reason is that, unlike other planets with a one-piece rocky surface, Earth's outermost solid layer, what we call the lithosphere, is divided into many rigid plates that move independently on a hot, weak asthenosphere. These plates move and interact with each other to create various landscapes like folded mountain ranges and natural events like earthquakes. The theory that explains how these plates move is called plate tectonics, which is a special style of tectonics. To understand plate tectonics, we first need to understand what a plate is. If you've seen a map of all of Earth's plates, you would probably think this looks like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Well, they are, except these puzzle pieces don't sit still. They are slowly moving all the time. Although we are living on one of these plates, the North American plate, you'll never feel the movement. This is because the plates move very slowly. The fast plates move as fast as your hair grows, and the slow plates move as fast as your fingernails grow. Plates can move towards or away from each other, and they can also slide past each other. The different kinds of movement between the two plates creates different landscapes and forms different plate boundaries. There are three types of plate boundaries. Convergent plate boundaries occur where two plates move toward each other. These are where the highest and the lowest places on Earth can be found, such as Mount Everest and the Mariana Trench. Divergent plate boundaries occur where two plates move apart from each other, such as where ocean spreading ridges are. A good example is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Transform plate boundaries are where two plates slide sideways past each other. A good example is the San Andreas Fault of California. Plate tectonics is important for understanding the environments and natural events around us, and has played a critical role in nurturing life on Earth. Plate tectonics is a major reason why the Earth is so different from other worlds in our solar system. The second video, the plate, is about five minutes long. The video explains what is a plate and the differences between crust and the lithosphere, as well as the difference between oceanic and the continental crust and the lithosphere. Now let's watch the second video. To understand plate tectonics, we need to understand what a plate is. First, we should be clear that the term plate is short for tectonic plate, or lithospheric plate. In other words, plate, tectonic plate, and lithospheric plate indicate the same thing, the cracked pieces of Earth's outermost rigid layer, the lithosphere. You can imagine a cracked shell of a hard-boiled egg. Unlike an eggshell, however, what makes the plates is how the rocks behave rather than what they're made of. You may remember that the Earth has three major compositional layers, the core, the mantle, and the crust. 
One of the most confusing things about plate tectonics is the difference between Earth's crust and the tectonic plates. Many people confuse Earth's lithosphere with its crust. The crust is part of the lithosphere. But what you may not know is that most of the lithosphere is actually made of the uppermost part of the mantle that is cooler and more brittle than the hot, solid rock underneath. Crust and mantle are made of different kinds of rock, so of different chemical compositions, but together make the lithospheric plate. In short, a plate is a cracked piece of Earth's lithosphere and is composed of the crust and some of the upper mantle below it. In order to understand plate tectonics, it's also important to know that the Earth has two kinds of crust, continental and oceanic. Continental crust is thick and less dense, and so it rises higher and mostly is dry land above sea level. Oceanic crust is thinner and more dense, and so it is lower and usually hidden under the oceans. Because of these two very different kinds of crust, there are two different types of lithosphere, continental and oceanic. Oceanic lithosphere is more dense than continental lithosphere because its crust contains minerals with more heavy elements, like iron. A single plate can also be made of partly oceanic and partly continental lithosphere, such as the North American plates. A plate can also be entirely oceanic, such as the biggest one, the Pacific plate. Oceanic lithosphere and oceanic crust are created by seafloor spreading at divergent plate boundaries. Divergent plate boundaries are where two plates move away from each other. Like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge or the East Pacific Rise. Typically, oceanic lithosphere is about 50 to 100 kilometers thick and can be even thinner at the ocean ridges where the temperatures are higher. Only the top six or seven kilometers of the oceanic lithosphere is oceanic crust. The oldest oceanic lithosphere on Earth is about 180 million years old and was formed when dinosaurs roamed the continents. Oceanic lithosphere is dense enough to sink into the underlying mantle at convergent plate boundaries, where two plates move towards each other. Continental lithosphere is typically thicker and older than oceanic lithosphere. Some parts of the continental crust are billions of years old. So, now you know that a plate is just a piece of Earth's lithosphere what the difference is between the crust and lithosphere, and what the difference is between oceanic and continental lithosphere. Now you may be wondering how they interact to make plate tectonics, or what evidence we look for on the surface to identify plate boundaries. Check out our next episode. To make the resources as useful as possible, we're creating standalone images to demonstrate some of the basic plate tectonic processes that you can use in slides in your own lessons. We are also providing glossaries for important terms used in each video, again, with a TEKS focus. The plate tectonic series will be freely available once we finish the assessing the videos. We plan to do the assessment in spring 2021 if you'd like early access, please consider participating in our assessment. We also have a set of 14 event-based Earth Science videos ready for your use called UTD GeoNews. GeoNews videos are typically three to five minutes long and we are making new ones frequently. The UTD GeoNews program explains the Earth science behind events in the news 
such as volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and earthquakes. Although not specifically created for middle school, GeoNews videos take advantage of the fact that news items draw students' attention and show the relevance of earth science to their lives. GeoNews videos also explain an event that happened somewhere specific so they can help build students' geography knowledge. We have one more resource to tell you about. The Google Earth-based uh, GeoEd Video Library, what we call Gagavell Star. This includes plenty of place-based and event-based earth science videos that we and other geoscientists have made. And we are adding more all the time. In addition to those made at UTD, the collection includes videos made by professors at Kansas University, Stanford, and Queen's University, Canada, as well as by scientific and educational organizations. Teachers can use Gagwell Star in courses and can also give the Google Earth KML file to students to use on their mobile device or desktops. In Gagavell Star, each icon contains at least one video, which has been created or reviewed by an earth science expert. Gagavell Star also visualized the 2015 to 2019 questions of TIC's Grade 8, Section 9b about polytectonic star on Google Earth. From top to bottom, we can see the title, the original star question, and useful videos about topic with descriptions. These videos can be watched directly in Google Earth. Our users can go to the video website to watch it. The projected star questions can be set as certain level of transparency based on teaching needs. You can also modify the Gagavell file to create your own Google Earth demonstrations. We are continuing to add middle school level earth science education videos to Gagwell Star. We see this as a novel and trustable way for middle school teachers to quickly find geoscience educational videos. New version of Gagwell Star will be posted regularly on the UTD GSS website and the UTD Science and Mathematics Education website. If you'd like to play tectonics videos and would like to help us test them, we'd love to have you join us. We will release our most up-to-date videos and Gegvel Star to the teachers who join our project. More details about the project can be found in the handouts. By joining us, you'll be able to join our future projects and have access to the latest resources. You can join by filling our interest form or sending an email to Ning Wang at nxw121030 at utdollars.edu. Thank you so much for listening to this talk. Please feel free to contact us if you are interested in our project or have any questions.